Hi everyone! This is Teacher Grace at ang pag-uusapan natin sa video ito ay tungkol sa National Learning Camp. Ang source ng Learning Camp DepEd Memo is DepEd Order Number 14 Series of 2023. Bakit kailangan yung malaman? Dahil nandito po ang mga attachments na kailangan natin for the preparation of the National Learning Camp. So, ano nga ba ang kaibahan ng dating summer class sa NLC? Yung ating traditional remedial classes po ay 5 days for 5 weeks before. At ang a-attend lamang ng summer class those students who got 1 to 2 failures in a specific subject. Habang ang NLC involved 3 camps. We have the Enhancement Camp, the Consolidation Camp, and the Intervention Camp. Sa ating Enhancement Camp, ang target students na a-attend sa camp na ito have an average of 90 to 100. The reason is this camp supports to assist advanced learners in enriching knowledge, skills, and understanding of the grade level area competencies. This means that the lessons in this camp is more on critical thinking, more on applications, not anymore on the basic skills or basic knowledge. For the consolidation camp, ang target naman dito is yung mga average of 76 to 89. This camp support to provide further practice and application of previously taught competencies. So possibly in this camp, babalikan po natin ang mga lesson na ating na-take up na kung saan doon ang weakness ng mga students. Dahil in this camp, these are the students who still needs to improve on the subject or yun mang mga nakapasa ngunit malaki pa rin ang weakness sa ating subject. The intervention camp ang a-attend po dito is yung mga average of 75 yung nakapasa lang talaga and yung may mga 1 to 2 failures. Bakit 1 to 2 only? Kasi po, kapag 3 subjects and more, automatic retained na po si student. Kaya hindi na po siya pwede na umatend ng NLC. However, for the students who have 1 to 2 failures, pwede pa silang umatend ng intervention camp. Because the intervention camp supports high-need learners who are yet to grasp foundational mathematics and foundational English skills. So possibly, in this camp, talagang babalik ako from the very basic. For example, in elementary, instead of solving problems, ang gagawin po natin is babalik po talaga tayo sa basic operations. Addition, subtraction, connection of the two. Next, addition, multiplication, connection of the two. Pagkatapos, division and multiplication, connection of the two. And division and subtraction, connection of the two. Bago po, babalik sa solving problems. For the secondary example, in mathematics, the polynomial functions, so instead of talking about the polynomial functions, you are going to go back way back in grade 7. We're going to start with the algebraic notation, the number line, introducing of the number line. Babalik ka po sa grade 8, graphing, how to get the roots. Then, for the grade 9, loss of exponent, until po makakarating po kayo sa polynomial function. So, anong gagawin na pag determine kung saan sila na camp na belong? So, aside from their grades, meron po tayong pre-assessment or diagnostic assessment. Kasi po, example, yung consolidation camp, meron naman po doon na hindi na kailangan na umatend ng camp dahil they are already familiar even though 85 to 89 lang yung grades nila. But there are some students who still needs to learn more that belongs to or should belong to consolidation camp. So, eto pong pre-assessment na ito take nila is very useful. So, meaning teacher, hindi na po ba kami magtitest during our camp. Teachers, we are encouraged to give formative assessment. Pero formative, that means this will not be recorded but it is for the sake to test if whether nakuha ni student ang ating mga lesson during the learning camp. Aside from the pre-assessment na recorded, meron din pong ititake sa students na post-assessment after ng ating learning camp to check whether there is improvement from their pre-assessment scores to their 
post assessment scores by our intervention na pagtuturo sa kanila. So how about the grade 12? To all the grade 12 out there, ang in-offer po ng learning camp is yung advanced classes. So pwede po na mag-advance classes yung ating grade 12 ng 1 to 2 subject. And these are different from the NLC dahil po you are going to conduct 5 days in 5 weeks. So after po ng EOSY rights or end of school year rights, go ahead and conduct this class para po mabawasan ang subjects during your immersion. That is the aim for this program for grade 12. The maximum size would be 35 per class. However, my discussion po dito si school head, lalo na po pag maliit lang yung classroom, it's not necessary na kailangan 35 talaga. For the class schedule, the NLC is suggested to commence one week after the end of school year, right? Kasi po, at this time, may hold pa tayo sa mga bata. At hopefully, by the third rating, is ma-identify na natin kung sino yung mga students na kailangan mag-take ng pre-assessment. Para po, may enough na silang information kung saan camp sila na belong, ano ang kanilang ipaprepare, how many students are involved, and kung sino-sino po yung mga deserving na teacher na talaga po mag-handle ng subject. I'm not saying or I'm not discriminating what I would like to emphasize is iba po kasi talaga kapag major mo yung subject. Over the years, may strategy ka na na na-develop, may mga methods ka na na ia-apply at alam mo saan mo tatamaan yung lesson para mas malaman o mas mapag-aralan ng student yung subject. Ito po yung mga i-prepare natin bago po mag-NLC. We have the NLC registration template para po sa pag-register ng mga students. Then, we have the consent template. Now, for this template, this has been attached in the annex of the DepEd memo that I have shown you previously. Tapos, aside from that, there has been a lesson format and design. Don't worry, teachers, dahil this is provided by the region. Kung booklets na ibibigay sa kanila. So, paano naman po yung schedule ng NLC? Ang NLC po, 5 days spanning in 3 week period. Pero, ito po yung suggested na matrix. On Monday would be the collaborative planning and preparation. Diyan po kayo magpre-prepare. Uh, check the booklets, read the booklets, prepare the materials na kailangan. Go ahead and give that list to your school head dahil ipoprovide nila yung materials na kailangan nyo. Then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday would be the teacher learner engagement. Diyan po kayo fan na mag-teach for 3 hours per subject. On Friday naman po is the collaborative review of instruction. Diyan po yung time na mag-feedbacking kayo with one another. Kamusta yung implementation? Was it successful? Do you have strategies that you have learned na effective? Lalo na po sa attendance ng mga bata and kung ano-ano pa po kailangan gawin for the next. Now, this has not been practiced last implementation and hopefully this will be practiced this year. Yung feedbacking po natin sa ating parents. On Fridays, meron po tayong konting hour kung saan uh, we are going to have a conference with the parents para po malaman nila yung mga progress ng bata at kamusta naman po yung bata or yung mga absent during the NLC, if forward din po natin dahil baka ang nalaman ng parent is uma-attend ng learning camp tapos hindi naman po nag a -attend. So, we really need the cooperation of our parents in this program. Now, in terms of scenarios, wag po nating i-follow ang situation na ito na may baha pero nag-teach pa rin si teacher at nag-aaral pa rin si student. Kapag po may calamities or emergencies, the declaration of suspension and cancellation would be automatic based on education and emergencies alternative delivery mode. Pero, yung
ang ating home learning activities, pwedeng online, pwedeng modular, or combination, nakadepende pa rin po sa severity ng situation. Ano-ano ang mga incentives sa NLC para po sa learners makakukuha sila ng certificate of completion that they are able to fulfill the requirements of the camp. Para naman po sa teacher, certificate of recognition. Meron din pong service credit na ibibigay one workday of vacation of service credit shall be granted per accumulated 8 hours of services rendered. And meron din po tayong food allowance. Provided din po yung ating mga IM so hindi po natin kailangan na gumastos para sa ating mga instructional material. That's it for this video. I hope na may nalaman po kayo. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. And if you have any questions, do feel free to comment. See you in the next video. This is Teacher Grace. Happy teaching.